Hello everyone, it's Rage, and welcome back to my beautiful paper smile. Let's get right back into it. In the last, um, episode, we were, like, we just ended off with the, um, like, the spider section that I still haven't actually figured out. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm really excited to actually figure out what on earth I need to do. Ah. Uh. This is the worst speedrun ever. <laughs> Uh, didn't think they'd start me all the way here. Okay. Um. So what I've assumed is that, aside from the fact that the section is safe, around here should be safe-ish, because they wouldn't spawn me in an unsafe-like location. So somewhere here, maybe. Because and there has to be somewhere safe between, you know, these sections. Otherwise, how, how on earth am I supposed to get anything done? So. Um, I mean, I was spawned, like, around the side, so. Ooh. Don't be doing all that. Oh! Like, maybe around here? Is this fine? No, it's not fine there. Well then, how? What you want me to do? I'm confused. It's one of those do your best and run as fast as you can moments. Okay. That is that is always wonderful. Okay, let's get started. Hey, don't be quiet. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Okay, I think I get it. That's how I'm supposed to run, I guess. Oh. Okay, wait, I think that was right. Shit. Okay, so I need to... Oh, I need to crush it with the thing. Just say that. I gotta crush it. Okay, so this lifts it. So this lifts it and this moves it forward. I'm guessing. Cause it seems to be far back and I'm gonna need to put it like here. Damn it. Ooh! Okay, so I did that one, and now I have to do this one. Oh, I have to go back and forth? Well, that's annoying. I figured it out. <laughs> there is a way to be safe. <laughs> oh! Shit. Yeah, no, I think I need to move it a bit more forward. I got hit once, so I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't just run around. Okay, there we go. That's right. Let me have a look. Excuse me, I need you to appear. That's right. I think it should be. Okay, listen, you gotta just hope that it's right because I don't know. Oh, let's go. 
Ei, ei, Mufas, no come on. Let me, let me see, let me see. <laughs> you bitch. You've been tormenting me for how long now? And now you are deceased. I feel bad. I don't like killing spiders. Oh shit. Um, I think time and space broke. Shit. Oh, it's just an opening. Oh, well. I guess that works too. Hmm. What oh, drone game? This really is gorgeous. Um. Ah, oh, shit, we've been caught. The king has awaited your capture, for he dislikes your rebellious nature. He holds ill plans for your soul. Oh damn. But know that we walk your path with you. What? We fear you have waited your arrival. We will help you. Okay, let's go. We have assistance. Chapter 3, an untimely departure. Okay. I'm just glad that spider thing is done. Where do I lie? What walls surround me now? Whose voice spoke to me and gave me comfort? My spirit was too feeble to take notice before my veins were filled with slumber. I was outside the village looking over her uninviting walls. Two figures came. And now I sleep. I must awaken and discover what has happened to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to see too. Oh, hello. Welcome to the king's village, dear child. Do not fear. I am one of the heretics, a disjointed band of authorities who are no longer loyal to the king. You must know that we wish you no harm and will give you shelter and protection from the loyals. Do you know where my friend is? I do not know who you speak of, but we may still be able to help you. We heretics will need your help though, and a meeting is to be held this night to discuss your arrival. I will leave you to rest, but you should go down to the chapel and speak with our leader as soon as you're ready. Not all bad. Oh, cute. But I shouldn't get my hopes up. Last time we tried to um, make friends, so we all know how that went. Ooh. Oh, cute. Is that, that it? I can read nothing else? You put papers all over the walls and you give me nothing to read. That is incredibly disrespectful. Ah. This letter is to inform all house leaders that an unknown number of the rank of authorities has started an unworthy rebellion against our hailed leader, his perfection. Anyone with knowledge of this group must notify all district leaders and in return will be spared and rewarded heavily for their cooperation. Okay. Hello. Urgent letter passed to all house leaders. Under the request of his perfection, it is commanded that all chapel leaders and district leaders inform those under their guidance that a male joyous entering his seventh year has escaped from facility 12. Any authority overseeing any group of the joyous must take notice of attendance hourly and file daily reports to your district postmaster. Okay. Pardon me. I'm just here to read notes. 
This okay. Faces. Um oh, okay. Um Ah, there are more notes downstairs, I see. Uh excuse me. I am simply looking for law. Because I probably have missed so much. Oh, well, that's it? Well, that's a shame. Um. Hi, how are you? Um. Okay, well, you really are. Pushing me to speak to this. This one. Oh, your horns are a lot longer than the others. Welcome, child. Do come forward. The last one who told me to come forward was a spider creature. Don't attack me. I'm still recovering from that. I was told that you would like to speak with me. Yes, for there are many things you must know. I am the leader of the heretics, a small band of rebel authorities that wish to overthrow the king and stop his operation. We have been keeping careful watch of things and a sudden opportunity has arisen. The king is making an unexpected trip to the village tonight so he will be vulnerable. A chance like this is rare and we must learn exactly where he will be so we might plan an attack accordingly. Since learning of his scheduled arrival, we have attempted to summon the lost child to gain this information but he fails to respond. He's been failing to respond, he's useless. You too can hear his voice? Many of us heretics can, but he has been silent as of late. Mm -hmm. As the only child to escape the facility, you may be able to summon him and aid us in overthrowing the king. I must speak to the lost child as well, and would be pleased to help you. I do hope that you might help me find my friend as well. We will discuss that more later. Some preparations must be made before tonight's meeting. While you wait, I suggest you speak with the heretics in the other room who have some questions for you. Oh, alright. I'll go talk to them, I suppose. Um, any of you? Oh, these doors are open. <laughs> Whoops. Hello. Oh, you have my blade. We found this knife under your coat while you slept. This came from the shrine near the facility, did it not? Yes, it caught my attention once I saw it, so I took it. What blood is this along the blade? I took some of my blood to create a name. Did you successfully create a name? Yes, I did. Child, do you know the purpose of a name? A name is what allows you to be in the village and visit the king. Who told you this? A hunter who I met while in the woods. There is some truth to what he told you, but it is important that you know its true function. When a child from the facility passes their tests for long enough, the loyals create a name for that child. The name predicts the future of the child that it belongs to. If the child's future is desirable, then that child is allowed into the village to continue their training. The names of each joyous must indicate that they will not rebel. Can you decipher my name? No, but I'm sure it will be discussed at tonight's meeting. The king enchanted this blade long ago with a spell that could determine if a child might be perfect. If the blade detects purity in the child's heart, then it disappears, so the child cannot be killed. Because you took the blade, a group of loyals brought a child here to the village. Once the loyals realize that the knife is still missing, they'll become suspicious. We aren't sure what to do with it yet, but thank you for the information. Our leader may be ready to begin the meeting, so we will see you in the chapel shortly. Oh, alright. Oh, I see more things. What is that? A breaker? Huh. One of five. Okay. And also they have taken my blade. I am very upset about this. 
And back to the chapel I go, I'm assuming. Excuse me, sir. Everything is prepared. Our meeting will begin. Oh. This is terrifying. Hello there. As you are all aware, we are gathered together to discuss a plan of attack against the king. He is making Ari an unexpected trip to the village this night. We have found the escaped child before the loyals, so we may be able to summon the lost child. With luck, he may be able to tell us exactly where the king will be and when he will be there. Dear Joyous, would you call out to the lost child? Lost child, will you speak to us? I hear you and I will speak to you. Oh, for once. Lost child, as you are away, we aim to overthrow the king. It has come to our attention that he will be in the village this night, and we must know where he will be. Your enthusiasm is commendable. I am saddened to tell you that he will be visiting the column which will be heavily guarded. What purpose does the king have at the column? This boy's friend has been captured and brought there for reckoning. They believe he may be the perfect child. This is why the king is making such an urgent visit. Will we save my friend? Will I see him again? The column is heavily guarded. We can't get to him safely. We must travel up the mountain and ambush the king as he is escorted back to his castle. Is there truly no way that we might aid this child's friend? Saving him will not aid our revolt, therefore I do not see it fit. Fair enough. I feel my presence may attract unwanted attention to this place. You have all the information you need to make your decision. But lost child, wait one moment before you go. The boy has created a name and it has yet to be interpreted. Has he indeed? Show it to me. What does it say? Vincent. Oh, that's cute. Child, your name is Vincent. Oh no. The authorities outside. The loyals have found us. Quickly take the child and get to safety. As soon as you can, meet us outside the northern gate. Oh. I'm always happy for a save. I must get you across the district to safety. There will be loyals patrolling the streets, so I'll need to hide you in the shadows of the alleys to avoid detection. When we're in the alleys, unequip your life. This way you won't be spotted. Follow me as safely as you can. Alright, um... I... Uh, I'm short on time today, so I think I'm actually going to end this episode here instead. Alright, so, quickly before anything else... Oh, Jesus... Excuse you? Do you intend to leave me now? Leave me again? You can't. You know you can't. Tell me I'm not dead. Tell me you didn't kill me. Lie to me. Tell me your beautiful lies. I wish I could hear you, but I can't. You thief. Thief of life. You steal without consideration. I was in need. I am in need. I am always in need. 
I must have what I need. Take it off. Give it to me. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so cool. What? Okay, I'm guessing that the hunter that we killed, or like, the thing that took over the hunter's body, um, didn't die. He just killed the hunter. So that thing is like after us now. That's so cool. That's a great way of introducing that. I was going to complain about the whole spider thing and me having to figure that out, but uh, then I stumbled into that, which is really cool. So that's always exciting. But I am going to end this episode here. So for now, that will be all from me. I'm so excited for the next episode to play this game. Until the next time, bye bye. <laughs>